Hello, everybody. It's week four of Safe at Home, and it's going to be a fun, fun day. I am going to do a virtual live trunk show for you guys with all of the quilts that I've written patterns for. And all of these patterns can be found on my website. And I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing a sew along with one of these quilts. So one of the patterns, so stay tuned for that. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with the trunk show. And I'm just thinking, you know, our lives have gotten so much different. Um, and I almost kind of feel like life's been canceled. <laughs> I just heard that our famous Waterworld um, summer fun place for families and kids to go this summer is not even going to be open this summer. So I'm thinking we all need more quilts to make to pass the time while life's been canceled. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you my quilts. And I hope that you enjoy this virtual trunk show. All right. So first up is Corner Square. And this pattern um, has a lot. It uses um, darks and lights and a background and some medium fabrics. So um, this quilt finishes at 72 by 88. And it's a lot of fun, a really fun way to use up um, kind of focus fabrics. So here is the finished quilt. This one, I used a lot of fun Tula pink fabrics. And you can see like some of them I kind of fussy cut and made it a highlight. This is a really fun quilt and I quilted it with the pantograph called Sentara. So that's the first quilt. I'm just going to go through the row here of my patterns in my little file box here. This next one is called Crossroads and it's actually a pattern that my mom wrote. My little mom is Fran Leslie of Village Dry Goods. She owns a quilt store in uh, Utah. Oh, let's see. I'm not seeing that quilt on my pile. It's just a little wall hanging. They do a um, shop hop every year. And, oh, here's another box of, here it is. Yay. <laughs> so this is Crossroads. Um, it's really fun. My mom's store in Utah is really, really known for their reproductive, reproduction <laughs> fabrics, not reproductive. I wish our fabric would be reproductive. We'd have more fabric. Well, wait, maybe mine is. Maybe that's the problem why I have so much fabric. <laughs> anyway, the reproduction fabrics are like um, kind of redos of old time fabrics, kind of Civil War. Some of them are dark. So her quilt that she had made of this, she had used black instead of the red. But of course, I had to make it a little brighter, out of the red, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, Tessa's on there. Hi, Tess. Hi, everybody that's joining me, Evelyn and Mariana. Thank you for coming on and joining. So that's the second one. Next one is oh, one of my favorites. This one is written by my friend Cindy, and it's called Friendship Mountains. Get a little closer here. Look at that beautiful. And it's all made with friendship stars. And it also uses um, a quilter's grid. So it has an interfacing that you actually iron all your pieces on. So it makes putting it together super easy. Oh, and my mountains are upside down. Earthquake. <laughs> so there is the beautiful friendship mountains we actually have a couple of kits for this on the website and it's I love the border fabric is a real fun um wildflower like Colorado mountain wildflowers so excited to get up in the mountains and look at all those pretty wildflowers 
All right, so that's Friendship Mountains. That one I custom quilted. Um, I think I forgot on Crossroads. I was going to tell you guys what I quilted these with, too. This one's quilted with um, a lily of, no, cotton blossom. A little cotton blossom flower. One of our pantographs. Super fun. All right, so after Friendship Mountains, we have our Gracie quilt. I showed you guys this one. Uh, I think last week when we were talking about our color um, theory, and this was a complimentary color quilt, and I'll show you that one again, and then I think I have the original red and turquoise one, maybe. I'm looking around to see if I have it. Okay, but I'll show you this one again. This is with the navy and the coral. This one is quilted with promenade, pantograph. Super cute and fun. Mm, just love this one. This one I got a fabric that had a border print for the borders. That was a lot of fun. Really kind of tied it all together. And let's see. Oh, here's the Gracie quilt in the original red and turquoise color palette. When my granddaughter Gracie was born, this was what they wanted for her colors for her nursery. Love that color combo. Again, it's a complimentary color combo. Kind of the greeny blues across from the red. So that one's super fun. This one's quilted with uh, baby blooms. Fun little daisy flower. Very cute. Hope you guys can see that good on the camera. I'm kind of behind it so I can't tell. Uh, okay, so Gracie quilt. Next quilt is called Jelly Roll Slide. And this uses, this is so much fun. It just uses one jelly roll and the quilt is, ends up being 60 by 50. Um, I have been working on making a bigger size of it using two jelly rolls. Um, I just got to finish getting those directions written up. So maybe now that I've told you that's what I'm going to do, I'll get on that and get that done. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this one just uses one jelly roll, makes a nice lap size, and then um, a solid piece of fabric down the center. And that is jelly roll slide. <clears throat> and I'll show you the real thing. And I flipped the other direction than the picture was. Or not, I don't know. Um, this one's quilted with Larkspur Love. So it has a fun little bird and a heart and some swirls super fun so you can tell this one has not been folded on the bias like i showed you in one of my videos a few weeks ago and i've got some pretty serious uh folding crease lines in that one <laughs> it's been in there a while in the bag a while this will be this is a good way for me to get the quilts out and refolded um it is really important to do that with your quilts so that you don't get those permanent, permanent lines in there. Just take them out, refold them. And again, if go back to one of my videos a while back where I showed you how to fold and store quilts. And it'll show you how to fold up your quilt on a bias. They still end up square when you fold them up or rectangle-ish. Um, but then that keeps those permanent crease lines from getting in your quilts when you're storing them. So, all right, jelly roll slide. Next one is Let's Be Friends. I talked about this one a couple of weeks ago that I am in the process of remaking a sample. And this is the one I'm thinking about doing a sew along for. So stay tuned for that. We might get that going next week. Um, for sure, let me know if that might be something you'd be interested in. A sew along is where like every week we do a new step and then you have like till the next week to get it done. And it's a really great way to have kind of that accountability and that timeline of how long is it going to take me to get this quilt done. And you know that other people are kind of working with you. We can all share and show pictures of our um, outcomes of our quilts. So for sure, let me know if you think you're interested in doing a sew along. I think we'll get started on that. We're going to do this one and we will... Um, probably, if you're interested and want to do the sew along with me, offer the pattern either reduce rate or maybe I'll even offer it for free because it's called Let's Be Friends. And really, I consider all of you guys quilting friends. And 
that was my original reason for writing this pattern is because I love all my quilting friends. So let's look at this quilt. Um, if I can find that one. I just saw it. Uh, uh, I think it's in this pile. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here it is. So again, this one also I talked about how I use the low volume fabrics for the background instead of just using a solid light background like white or cream i use these fabrics called low volume and it just adds a lot more interest and it still gives you enough contrast that those stars really pop this is a great way to use up some scraps if that's something that you want to do in the sew along or you could get a bunch of fabrics that go together you could use a pre-cut bundle of some sort um, like a layer cake or something you could use um, this finished size on this one is let me tell you let's be friends is 59 by 68 and it's quilted with simply squared two so I have simply squared one, simply squared two. The only difference is in two, the pattern overlaps each other. So you get an extra little pattern of a square. It's a little, little more dense. So that's simply squared two on Let's Be Friends. Okay, the next one on here is Magic Carpet. And I've done this one a couple of different colorways as well. The first one we did had some red background. This one I did a little bit more muted with some grays and some really fun um, lighter color pieces. This was from, I think it was from a fat quarter bundle. You can get two blocks out of a fat quarter. So this is a really great one to use for a fat quarter bundle and then you just need background fabric. This one's quilted with a mini Gerber Daisy. Fun, fun little springtime flower. And the pattern actually gives you directions to make it in several different sizes. So you can make a baby size, a lap size, a twin size, full, queen, or king. And so you need six, 10, 15, 21, 25, or 32 fat quarters, depending on which size of that you want to make so this is a really versatile one super simple um kind of beginner or just kind of a no-brainer you just kind of want to get a quilt done use up some of your fabrics this would be a great charity quilt to donate because you aren't spending a ton of time doing all the piecing some friends of mine and i just donated some quilts to firehouse quilts and they are going to give them to craig hospital so this is a great time use up this time of having to stay home to make some quilts up for charity use up that fabric make some charity quilts this would be a really great one for that that one again is called magic carpet all right the next one is one of my favorites well they're all my favorites i can't i am gonna say that 50 times today well not that many i don't have that many patterns but um patchwork star is a really fun quilt that uses you can use scraps, again, make it really scrappy, use up all of your little tiny two and a half inch squares, or you can actually use a layer cake for this. And with the layer cake, you get enough fabric to do the inside big star and all the border pieces. So this is a great one. It ends up being 58 by 58. And let me show you the sample of that one. Um, French, or uh, let's see, Patrick Star. Here we go. Oh, this is, this one's one of my favorite quilts too, like my favorite pattern and my favorite quilt because I used wool batting in this one. And it is just the snuggliest, um, like warm but not hot. It doesn't mean it's real, I love wool batting because it's real breathable, but it gives you that warmth. So you just cut your, layer cakes into all into actually two and a half inch strips and then you can do some strip piecing so it's not it's not as intimidating as it looks that you have to sew all those little two and a half inch squares together um you can actually sew them together a little bit in strips 
and then you make them into some nine patches it makes it a little more manageable so super fun one patchwork star this one's quilted with twinkling night sky so it's got stars and moons and the nice fun swirls so this one i did actually make out of a layer cake which is 42 10 inch squares in case you're not sure what a layer cake is so that's a fun way or again i have made it with um, using scraps as well it's a great scrap buster all right so the next quilt is just darling another one of my favorites <laughs> i told you i was going to say that again uh this is a good one for either layer cakes or scraps as well it's called simply churned and it's a bunch of little tiny churn dash little six inch churn dash blocks um, I did find that you have to uh, match up your, I'll show you when I show you the bigger quilt. So let's move on. This is, this quilt is, oh, let's see. I probably did the twin size 67 by 82, but it does have directions to make a baby size, twin size, full slash queen size, or a king size. So this is another one that you can get um, all the directions you need to make it whatever size you want to make it. It'd be a really darling baby quilt. So let's find Simply Churned. Okay, so what I was gonna tell you with this, even though it looks really scrappy, it is. And like I said, again, you can do it with a charm pack. You can get an entire, um, not a charm pack, a um, layer cake, the 10 inch squares. You can get enough pieces to make one block and then all your cornerstones. But you do, if you're gonna make it scrappy, you do have to keep all of your rectangles the same fabric and all of your outer um, half square triangles the same fabric otherwise if you try to make it all scrappy it it loses its look so that's the secret on this one this is quilted with feathers a la mode which is another design also um, co-created with my friend elisa with quilts of valor so really one of my favorites. <laughs> did I say that already? I don't know. Maybe I did. <laughs> um, all right. So Simply Churned is that one. Okay. Next up is, oh, Size Does Matter. This is kind of a fun, modern take on, again, another churn dash, just like our last one, the churn, Simply Churned. This one uses the churn dash block. And I use this really nice, um, neutral palette for this one. This quilt finishes at 72 by 72 and it does not come in different sizes because it was a lot of math to figure out exactly how many half, uh, how many churn dash blocks and what size they needed to be in order to all line up. So you can see up here in this corner it starts out with little teeny tiny three inch finished churn dash blocks. Then it goes to six inch seven and a half inch, nine inch, and then you get this six inch kind of split border that goes only down two sides and then big 12 inch churn dash. So it's a really fun, um, different sizes of blocks. And this one is quilted with Hilton Panagraph. That's still, that was like my very first Panagraph I ever created and still one of the very most popular uh, panographs that I that we sell so Hilton on size does matter all right so next is skipping stones and this uses up the charm packs you need two charm packs for it it is nope wrong one. <laughs> oh, let's see um, here it is. Nope, that's not it either. Here it is. <laughs> I should have got them all in order, but like I told you guys last week, like two o'clock comes around so quick for me. <laughs> all right, here is, this is a little different colorway than what's on the pattern. This one has a cream background. And like I said, it just uses charm packs. So they're just little five inch squares. And it gets laid out on point so you actually sew it together starting in the corner and sew your rows together kind of in a diagonal 
So it has all the directions and measurements that you need for that. This is a good, nice uh, twin size quilt. I'll look at the pattern and tell you the size again. This one also is quilted with Hilton, and it's really pretty how you can really see it on that cream background. Oh, that one's definitely been got a big crease mark. I got to refold these quilts in a different way when I put them back after this. Um, so here again, here's the different colorway that I used like a turquoise aqua background. That was really pretty too. This one finishes at 90 by 66 is the finish size. And that one's called Skipping Stones. Okay, next is Snails at Sea. And I actually don't have that up here in my block, the pattern to show you because I sold out and I've got to print some more. But I did show it to you last week in this monochromatic color harmony. This is um, Snails at Sea. It finishes, I believe, 72 by 72 as well. And it's foundation pieced. So you use papers to sew all your pieces onto the papers. And there is a video on my website how to do that. And this, again, like I said, this is like my most popular pattern. This one is quilted with Tempest. So I actually designed this pantograph for this quilt. Um, again, this is called Snails at Sea because it's a snail trail block that makes that little swirly there. And then it's also a Storm at Sea block. So they're kind of I kind of combined those two blocks to make this uh, quilt. So it's called Storm Snails at Sea instead of Storm at Sea. And then the name of this quilt is seasick because it's in all the greens. And if you look at it too much like this, it might make you seasick. <laughs> and so Tempest was the pantograph I designed for it. Again, to just kind of give that ocean breeze, wind blowing effect to it. So that was a lot of fun. So that's Snails at Sea. I redid Snails at Sea in a different colorway instead of the monochromatic and this one is kind of more rainbowy <clears throat> and it's using fat quarters and this one I call this quilt my baby because it took me about nine months <laughs> to figure out and how to put the whole thing together and just all that paper piecing and the blocks are really tricky because like this is a block and so you had to to, in order to make this whirly gig thing here in the middle. It's actually the way four different blocks come together, so it was real tricky getting it to lay out. So in the pattern, you actually get a blank coloring sheet so that you can do, you can lay out your map and figure out how you want to quilt it. And I don't know if you can see in the light, this one also has some little bit of bling, a little bit of gems added onto it, and I did custom quilt this one, so did not use a pantograph on it. Yeah, that's Snails at Sea. A lot of fun. Really, that's that one's pretty amazing. I love that one. All right, so um, next up, uh, actually, I'm going to show you Sparkler. Um, this one is, again, another easy, would be great baby quilt or a good charity quilt. Super simple, has different... Um, just some rectangles and some squares. So it goes together really easy. You can use fat quarters. It finishes at 60 by 60 and is a great way to use up fat quarters. And this quilt is adorable. I love this fabric line. It was a flower sugar, I think it was called, by Leishin. And again, kind of using those low volume prints for the background instead of a solid background. You could do any kind of lights. And this one is quilted with um, Lily of the Valley Pantograph. And it's fun. I think I showed you this one when I did fun backs because I had a couple extra blocks and fabrics left over. So I just added them onto the back. So really fun, quick, easy project and make a great baby quilt or birthday quilt. <laughs> um, and then a re a, another take on that quilt 
is called Sparkler Flower. So it's the same block somewhat, except you make those rectangles um, pop off the corners with some triangle pieces and then turn them on point and that makes sparkler flowers. And then the whole quilt is set on point instead of straight. So it looks like a totally different quilt than that other one, but it's very similar in construction, which I think is the greatest thing about making quilts is how just changing a couple little things on a particular quilt or a pattern can make it look so different. So this quilt is quilted with tangled triangles, one of our pantographs. So I thought it was interesting how I used for the circle that I that's appliqued in the center is the same as the background. So it kind of makes it look like there's like a hole in the flower. A different pattern way that we did. I don't know where that one, this one's at, but this the one that's on the cover is done in the reds. And in that one, I did like an orange center on it, and it made it look more like a flower. Oh, here it is. It's in this basket. I can show it to you. Yay! <laughs> so you can see what I'm talking about with the difference in the centers. This one's quilted with twinkling hearts. And I did the center with every single center orange, so it made it look more like a flower. Whereas again, I'll show you this one again. I used the background fabric for the center and it made it look more like a pinwheel, more like there was a hole in the center of the instead of a flower center. So kind of fun. So that's sparkler and sparkler flower. And then we have Twilight. Twilight is great. That's the one I said, oops, wrong one. <laughs> When I was trying to show you stepping stones. This is Twilight. This is, I love this navy and, and aqua color combination. So this is, um, as we were talking about our color theory last week, an analogous colorway, harmony, color harmony, because the aqua, blue, green, that's all, all colors right next to each other on the color wheel. So that's a great combination. And this one is quilted with Larkspur Summer. So it's got a fun little bird and tree in it. And it finishes at 76 by 93 if you do all of the quarters. And you can you can use stack quarters for this. And you can make, you know, one of these whole blocks with your fat quarter and the background. So that's a good way to use up, use up fat quarters. Um, I, I redid that one as well. That was the original. That one I've since redone in the fun rainbow colorway. So same quilt. Um, I didn't did not add all the borders so it's not quite as big. And this one, I had this great fat quarter bundle of this beautiful rainbow colors, and I wanted to use them all, but there's only 12 blocks. So I combined like the greens. So I did like half the block with the lighter green, darker green, the pinks and reds and blues. Just give it a little bit more interest. And then this one is quilted with luscious lemons. And that one is co-designed with Cindy. She, she had the idea for that one. So that was a lot of fun. Let's just lemons. It's just fun to say too. All right, Twilight, I think we're on to the last one. The last one is called Twinkle. And it's a fun star diamond shape pattern with a really fun ribbon border. That is a lot of fun to do. And it's again rainbow. That's one of my favorite colors is rainbow. <laughs> so I just love all the colors. And this I used ombre fabric. So it looks like a lot of different colors, but it's just 
uh, various shades, the ombre fabric where it, sh it fades from like light to dark. So that's really fun. This is quilted with uh, plumage. So some fun feather kind of paisley type looking design. But my favorite thing really is that border, kind of ribbony. And, and also my other favorite thing about this quilt is the background fabric has some metallic threads in it. So it has a little sparkle to it. Love it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think that's it for my trunk show. I'm really excited that you joined me. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go check out my website, see which patterns that you'd like to make, and be watching for our quilt along. Um, more information to follow on that probably tomorrow. So stay tuned, stay continuously creative, and I will see you guys next week at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. Bye.